So, uh, some weeks ago, I uh, posted some photos of these here things. These uh, Game of Thrones dragons from Mega Constructs. And uh, I thought it would be nice to build one of them. And I thought I would do a quick video of that. But I thought I'd also throw in a little bit of history of Game of Thrones style, uh, Lego style toys. Now, first of all, uh, what is clear is that Lego will never do Game of Thrones toys because Lego is more family friendly. Game of Thrones has a lot of sex, a lot of violence, and it's probably just a bit too much for, for Lego. But that doesn't mean that there hasn't been Lego compatible sets. Uh, this one right here that you can see, it's very nice and ornate and beautiful looking. This is from uh, McFarlane Toys. But you'll notice one thing about this set. This is obviously uh, the Iron Throne with Joffrey and uh, Guard. But uh, one thing you may notice about this is it doesn't look a lot like Lego. I mean, there's, there's nothing about this that screams Lego in any way, shape, or form. You'd have to really disassemble parts of it to notice that it actually uses Lego type parts. So you can see here on the back, this is held on with a, what is essentially like a Lego brick. Um, but it doesn't look like Lego. It doesn't feel much like Lego. It really just looks like, like a model kit more than anything else. And I'm not sure where that came from. We'll have to find a home for that. Uh, but it is technically a, a Lego. And uh, McFarlane has made a lot of very nice Lego sets. Um, let's see if I can grab one back here. Uh, yeah, McFarlane did these Steven Universe ones which are very nice looking. Um, again, not, doesn't look much like Lego, but it's his own version of a minifig. In this case, as I said, from Steven Universe. Very nicely done. They're well made, but they don't give you that Lego vibe. In order to get the Lego vibe from uh, Game of Thrones, for quite a long time, what you had to do is you had to go to the bootleg market. And uh, bootleg will get you something like this. So this is Daenerys, Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, this was bought from uh, AliExpress. Here's another version, which I think is a little bit better. It's got better um, parts. It looks a little better. I would prefer that her hair be actually like silver white, like I feel like it should be. But nonetheless, these are two different versions of Daenerys Targaryen from different bootleg companies, making, making real bootlego. But recently... Uh, the license was picked up by another company. It was picked up by Mega Constructs. Now, those of you who did Lego when you were younger might have been aware of their, the number one Lego compatible uh, set, which is uh, which used to be called Mega Blocks. They rebranded after they were purchased by um, uh, by. Uh, uh, oh gosh, who is it? It's it's not Hasbro. It's the other one. <laughs> I'm suddenly blanking. My brain's my brain's not working. Uh, they were bought by well, they were bought and they were renamed Mega Constructs, which is the name they use now. So that's here, Mega Constructs, as you can see. Um, Mattel. I don't know why I couldn't think of Mattel. Uh, so there it is, Mega Constructs. It's still basically uh, Lego compatible, but the one thing they did when they rebranded was they upped their game as far as the minifigs are concerned. So the earlier minifigs looked. Uh, they, they, they looked kind of like Lego. They really didn't have the, um, the quality of the build, but now they are much, much better. So here's an example of a modern Mega Constructs minifig. This is uh, Skeletor from the Masters of the Universe line. And here's, like, here's Tila. Now we can compare Tila to a bootleg Tila, a bootleg Tila that's made to look like a real Lego minifig. So you can see the difference. This is what Tila would look like if Lego actually made one. And this is the way she looks coming from Mega Constructs. So with um, the license going of Game of Thrones going to, uh, going to uh, Mega Constructs, you can see this is what the Daenerys looks like in that set compared to that. So there's a big difference. And the set, if you can see, I haven't built this one yet, obviously, but you can see just by looking at its construction, by the nature of the pieces, that it looks much more 
like what you expect a Lego to set look set to look like. It's got the open bricks here. It looks more constructed, looks less like a statue, and more like a proper toy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to build this Drogon. That's, that's the point of today's video. I'm going to build this Drogon. But I also wanted to go over why I thought it was so brilliant once I saw that they were making these. Now, uh, prior to these dragons, these dragons from Game of Thrones, Mega Constructs had done a series of basically dragons. They were called Breakout Beasts. Here's an instruction booklet for Breakout Beasts. Breakout Beasts came in blind uh, packages. And here's an example of one of them. This is a lovely dragon that they did. That always keeps falling off. I gotta uh, get that back on. So, lovely dragon, wonderful construction. Doesn't look a lot like Lego, but it is interchangeable. You can pop these arms and legs right off and interchange them with any other one from that series. So here's a horse-based beast, and you can take the legs off. And uh, I can just pop another arm on there. Very nice. I love these things. I think they were really nice done, but they were blind boxes. And... Uh, that's kind of annoying if you're a kid and you spend $15, which is what they cost, and you get, uh, you get the same guy like twice. Well, why, that would be really annoying. Oh, yes, there was also another version, which is this guy. These were called uh, the Crystal Creatures, and they're very nice. They've got these little crystals on them. This one obviously is like a, a reindeer of some kind. There's also this one here, another kind of mystical beast. But again, these are the same construction, so these legs can come off and interchange with the breakout beasts just fine. Now the neat thing about the breakout beasts when I when I bought them, I bought them on clearance so I didn't mind so much and I was lucky I only got one double, um, is this is the case they came in. This is their case. This is their blind bag. You just pop it open and there they were inside. And you'll notice that's that's quite quite similar to a, uh, a dragon egg from Game of Thrones. So they were obviously primed for this series and I'm glad these are not blind because that would be annoying. I was able to buy all three of the dragons. I've got a girl over here. Um, and uh, so that was much better. That was not as annoying as it would have been otherwise. Okay, so I'm just going to... So with that, with a little brief bit of history of Game of Thrones in a bootlego form and uh, a quick look at some other related items. Let's crack open this here Drogon. Now, I don't save my packaging. I used to. All my packaging, all my action figures, all my... I, had, I keep everything forever. It just piles up. There's just too much... There isn't enough space in the world for all the, all the things. So, um, one thing I want to mention about those uh, Breakout Beasts and the uh, Crystal Creatures is, oh, I like this. Look at this. Look at the insides there. Very nice looking. Nice, nice, and nice and magical looking inside the egg. Um, is they also came with um, in goo. They came in like slime. It was horrible. I mean, I suppose kids might like that sort of thing, but I would just I just took them out, cleaned off all the slime, dried them off before I assembled them. I did not care for that part at all. So let's see how. Yeah, you can see the construction on this thing is practically identical to the construction on on the breakout beasts. It's clear that they just modified it for this form. Although I think I can see from this, it's gonna attach to things. It's gonna, that's very interesting, that wing. So I'll be interested to see how that all works. Get these out of the plastic here. Okay, instructions. Instructions, instructions. Okay. How complex. Not too bad. Okay. I'm going to put these over here. I can move these off to the side. I'm going to take a looky loo. All right. We start with the body, the tail, other part of the tail, and these little claw like things. So we put this. Like this, All right? Nothing inside. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. One goes here. 
and one goes here. If I'm seeing that correctly. Tail, tail, two, another one of these things, head, jaw. I like this too, they all do this, all those other dragons, and this one they've got this articulated jaw, which I think looks really, really neat, and it's got this flexible neck, so that it really does have good articulation once assembled. Where is his neck? Neck here. That goes on the neck. A little spiky thing goes on the neck. Oh, and they also have these for the fire breath. So that'll that, that's also cool. All right. Leg. Oh, did I get the right leg? These are oh, these. Yeah, leg. Leg, foot, foot, right, and then I think oh, <laughs> got it upside down. Well, sometimes you're just not sure. Okay, there we go. That's some more like it. Okay. Now, I have to take this, and that goes on that, and becomes one arm, or one wing, I guess that's the wing. There's the other one, and that goes on there. This is kind of complex. Okay, so this goes here, and it goes here. And that goes around this, and this goes around that. And oh, oh, oh! That's that's a that's a nice complicated little wing there. And I guess we do the same with the other. That goes there. That goes there. Around the end. No, I think I did that. No, no, I think that's that's right. There. Wings. Wings. Okay, very good. And then wing. And wing. And head. And there it is. And then they've got a stand. I, uh, by, historically, these stands are not that strong, but it should be able to stand on the thing here. Additionally, it's anything like the other ones. You just stick that on there. And then he's flying. And there he is. There's Drogon. Very nicely done. These are these have wonderful articulation, just like the just like the battle, um, just like the breakout beasts. Um, I'm I'm assuming that I could interchange these parts with the breakout beasts because they they're exactly the same type. Not too many pieces, not too complex. So I think even uh, less 
experienced builders will have no problem assembling this dragon. And even if you don't know Game of Thrones, even if you they got a kid who obviously shouldn't be watching the show and hasn't watched the show, it's a solid, very nicely done um, dragon. So that's it. Thanks for watching.